Well, we've got a quick turnaround before we meet uh, Bournemouth and uh, it's, it's going to be on Tuesday, so we've got it tomorrow and uh, it means that there's not a lot of time for preparation. My name's Stephen Dawes, this is Palace to the Core. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more Palace news. And um, yeah, we've only got a couple of days in between the game against Nottingham Forest and this game against Bournemouth. So it was always going to be, uh, you know, a tough preparation for these for these games. And um, Oliver Glasner has said that, you know, there are things he wants to implement. There are things he wants to change after the Nottingham Forest game. But they're, they're not really going to have time. The two days are really going to be for resting. And then they're back in for the, uh, for the game against Bournemouth. But he did have a couple of things to say. First of all, he said that he's not concerned about the uh, the kind of lack of goals that were scoring he said that um you know he knows that jp can score he knows that uh, Eze can score and um, what he wants is more players getting forward who can try and get a goal that's what he thinks uh, is the important thing and he thinks that uh, by by you know working on the aspect of getting players forward then uh, he can bring more players in create more chances and there will be more players forward to potentially score goals now of course that's easier said than done because uh, we also have to defend as well. But obviously, we know that Glasner likes to press hard and he likes to go up. You know, he likes to have a high line and he likes to have players who are going to run onto the ball and things like that. Part of the problem, and I think I've said it before in the previous um, video, we don't have a huge amount of pace in the team at the moment. So, you know, getting players forward and back quickly is a bit of a problem for us. And certainly if we're up against teams that have got a lot of pace in their side. So it's going to be a tough game. AFC Bournemouth are, are playing well. You know, they, they've had a couple of dodgy spells, but they're currently 13th and, uh, you know, they're looking at mid-table safety. Um, it's going to be a hard game for us. I know that. But I think if we if we play slightly better than we did against Nottingham Forest, I think we played OK against Nottingham Forest. But I think we need to up the game a little bit and play a little bit better. We can do that and then we'll have uh, more opportunities to uh, to go and do what we can. In terms of score prediction, what am I thinking? Well, it's going to be a tough game. Um, AFC Bournemouth are, are playing OK. They're playing quite well at the moment. And, um, you know, they're, they're in the mid-table at the moment. So they've got, you know, they're not necessarily fighting for anything. But at the same time, they're, they're playing well. And I think that uh, Oliver Glasner probably hasn't had time to implement too much between the Nottingham Forest game and this game. So I think that we're probably going to play in a very similar way. Um, I think it's going to be a draw. I think it's going to be 1-1. Um, I'd love us to get the three points, I really would, but um, I can only really see it going as a 1-1 as a one -one draw, which is going to be tough, but it'll be a point. Um, we've got some tough games coming up as well, so uh, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a hard end to the season for us, but I think we're going to be safe. I think we are going to be all right. But let me know down in the comment section what you think. What do you reckon our, the scoreline is going to be? How do you think we're going to, uh, going to fare against Bournemouth? And uh, don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell for notifications and all that good stuff if you want to see more Palace news.